There's moments where we could all use a boost of self-compassion, but it can be really hard to know where to start. This tapping session is here for you to guide you in the process of being compassionate with yourself. To get started, tap on the back side of the hand, take a deep breath into your belly, exhale with a sigh. And we're going to start off by acknowledging some of the negative thoughts, which is actually how EFT becomes really effective. So repeating back. Sometimes it's really hard for me to be kind to myself. Between the eyebrows. I like the idea of being kind and gentle with myself. Sides of the eyes. But sometimes I forget. Under the eyes. Sometimes the thoughts are just so mean. Thing under the nose. And then I beat myself up for not being compassionate. Tapping under the lips. I love and accept myself exactly where I'm at to the chest. I accept where I'm at in my journey of self-compassion to the front of the ribs. And I am grateful that I'm committed to being compassionate with myself. Big, deep breath <sighs> to the side of the body. Because being mean and nasty to myself, it's not working to the wrist. So I'm open to trying a new approach. What would change in my life if I was able to be kind and gentle with myself? Back side of the hand. If I was able to love and speak kindly to myself. Deep breath. <sighs> Tapping up to the top of the head. If there's a part of me that's feeling sad, a part of me that's afraid or freaking out, I wonder what it would feel like to be patient and kind with that part of me in the eyebrows, the way that I would speak to someone that I love and care about, to the sides of the eyes. I wonder if it's possible, any moment when I'm struggling, to imagine what I would say to someone else, tapping under the eyes, how would I cheer up and be present with someone in this moment. Deep breath. <sighs> Tapping under the nose. I'm ready to create a loving inner voice now. Tapping under the lips. And I already know how to be kind and supportive with other people. To the chest. And I'm ready to direct some of that kindness inward front of the ribs. The truth is, I deserve kindness to the side of the body. I deserve compassion. I am learning to be compassionate with myself now. Deep breath. <sighs> Tap into the wrist. But sometimes it's hard and I forget. Back side of the hand. Anytime I notice that I'm being hard on myself, I am choosing to celebrate, hear me out, that awareness. I have suddenly become aware that I'm being mean to myself. And so it's possible for me to celebrate being kind and loving with myself. Deep breath. <sighs> it's possible for me to choose in that moment to be kind and loving with myself. Do the eyebrows. Anytime I notice I'm not being kind and loving, 
is an opportunity for me to make a change. Side to the eyes. And I'm making a powerful choice. Anytime I notice I'm beating myself up, to the eyes, and I'm choosing instead to imagine what I'd say to someone I care about. Under the nose, about the exact situation that I'm feeling. Under the lips. What would I say to someone that I love and care about? About the exact situation that I'm in. Tapping to the chest. Reassuring them. Everything's going to be okay. Front of the ribs. So I'm choosing to reassure myself. Everything's going to be okay. To the side of the body. I might say to them, I'm here for you. So I'm telling myself, I'm here for you. The wrist. I love you. I'm telling myself, I support you. Back side of the hand. You got this. Big deep breath. <sighs> Top of the head. I might even offer myself some empathy and validation. It's understandable that I feel afraid. Between the eyebrows. It's understandable that I'm scared about this. To the sides of the eyes. I love you even though you're afraid. Tapping under the eyes, taking a big deep breath. <sighs> and self-compassion is a practice. Having under the nose. And I'm choosing to practice self-compassion now. Having under the lips. It's okay that I'm not a rock star at this on the first try. To the chest. I'm gentle with myself as I learn how to be compassionate. Front of the ribs. As I learn how to be compassionate with myself. Because I was not taught this in school. The side of the body. I did not learn this at home. I'm having to figure this out on YouTube. And I'm really grateful to myself for my commitment to learning how to be loving and kind to myself. Big deep breath. <sighs> To the wrist, keep going, we're almost there, you're doing so well, I know it can be really intense. I'm excited to discover what might change in my life if I was able to be loving and kind with myself. Back side of the hand, if I was my own inner cheerleader, able to reassure myself calm myself, support and reassure myself. I would be unstoppable. And I'm excited to explore self-compassion more. In the eyebrows. I am learning how to have a loving inner voice. I am learning to speak kindly to myself. Through the eyes. I'm learning to be loving and gentle with myself. Especially in hard times. Having under the nose. I love and accept myself. The lips. I love and I'm gentle with myself. Having done the arms, I love and I'm compassionate with myself. 
Good job. How are you feeling now? Leave me a little comment down below, a couple of emojis. It really lights me up. It means so much to me. And it's an amazing way for you to spread this message of love and self-compassion. Uh, any comments and likes and subscribes and things like that means that the video gets to go so much further. So it's a great way to support me in the work that I'm doing in the world. Thank you, we're all doing this together. Also, I have a five day free tapping challenge. The information's down below, but you'll get sent a video every single day. It's a great way to really integrate EFT and self-compassion into your daily life. And I have an online course where you can learn how to use EFT tapping by yourself. And I guide people on deeply transformative one-on-one -on -one journeys. This is for people who are really ready to do deep inner work and to reach the next level and to meet a whole new version of themselves. So if you are ready for that, all the information is down below. And until next time, remember that every single part of you is worthy of love.